A Singaporean who allegedly calls himself the Messiah has been charged with hacking Ang Mo Kyo Town Council's website. James Raj Arokyasami was also on the run for drug offences. He was arrested by Malaysian authorities in Kuala Lumpur on November 4th. Police say he acted alone. Police say 35-year-old James Raj Arokyasami is behind the recent spate of hacking incidents, including websites belonging to the City Harvest Church co-founder, Sun Ho, the Straits Times blog, and the People's Action Party Community Foundation. On Tuesday, James Raj was charged with altering the content on Ang Mo Kyo Town Council's website from an apartment in Kuala Lumpur in late October. If found guilty, the maximum punishment is a three-year jail term and $10,000 fine on the first conviction. James Raj is also accused of consuming drugs in May two years ago. The prosecution asked for James Raj to be remanded at the Institute of Mental Health for psychiatric evaluation. It also asked the court to further remand him thereafter to help police with investigations. The prosecution said James Raj had told the police he suffers from various disorders and is suicidal, but later in the day, the accused denied this, saying the police took his words out of context. Now the prosecution's move has been met with strong objections by the defence lawyer, Mr M. Ravi, who had said that he should be granted access to his client. The court has denied this application and the case will be mentioned again on 26 November. Separately, five other Singaporeans aged between 21 and 26 face between one and four vandalism charges. The five allegedly spray-painted slogans at Sunshine Plaza, Scape and a Waterloo Street taxi stand in the morning of 5th November. If convicted, they are each looking at a jail term of up to three years, a $2,000 fine and may be ordered to receive three to eight strokes of the cane. In a statement, the police said five other Singaporeans aged between 17 and 45 are currently assisting in investigations relating to the alleged hacking of the Prime Minister's office and the Istana website. The Home Affairs Ministry has stressed that these two incidents are separate and also not related to those charged in court. Channel News Asia understands that the two suspects who allegedly hacked into the Istana website got to know each other via Facebook. It's believed that the three who hacked into the PMO website are related, two are brothers and the third is their brother-in-law. They are said to have hacked the websites through cross-site scripting, a common hacking technique that creates the illusion that a website has been compromised.